Hello lovelies, you're welcome back to Kemini Cut and Sim. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to make this cap gown. It's more like a circle dress, okay? So I'll be using this fabric, this silk-like fabric. And um, it's about three yards. So the first thing I'll have to do will be to fold it into four. Like you're cutting a 360 degree flay, okay? And I'm using the whole of the three yards. So I'll fold it into two and then fold it into two again, okay? So because this fabric, the, the camera will be able to take everything, I will have to show you how to make this with this paper. So there's a piece of brown paper and you fold it into two, like I said, that's the length and then you fold it into two again that will be for the width all right so when you fold it into two you will now have to mark out your shoulder measurement now from there you will know the space you're working with and then you take your neck width and your neck depth now i'll be using five inches for my neck width okay and i'll use three and a half inches for the neck depth is after i have curved this out then from my neck weight i will now connect it to my shoulder slant i'll be using one inch downwards from my shoulder measurement for my shoulder slant and at the point of the shoulder slant i'll keep on making a curve okay to the very edge you know the ankle of the fabric like you can see me do now from my shoulder you know from that point i mark my shoulder i'll measure my elbow you know my elbow length and from there that's where i'll bring out my hand that's where i want to i want like my armhole to be so from that point of the arm the elbow length i will mark about eight inches downwards that will be for the sleeve opening okay and as you can see me do at the edge of it i'm going up with two inches and then i'll cuff it to meet the length of the gown that's to give it some kind of balance all right hope you understand so i'm cutting this out just like you will just like i would do with the fabric and i'm cutting out the neck width now, after you've cut this out, be sure to, to notch where the sleeve opening will be. That will aid you when you're sewing it. Then you cut it out and then spread it. Now, I'm doing this on paper because the camera might not pick up, might not pick every part of the sewing because the fabric is long. Okay. So, that's it. And the next thing we will have to sew. Okay. It's a simple gown. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of drama. Okay. So when you spread it out, I will join the, the sides with about half inch or three quarter. And I will join it from the shoulder, from my neck width to where I have the start point for the sleeve, for the sleeve opening. Okay, I'll top stitch that place and now skip the the width that I've kept, the space that I've kept for the sleeve opening, and then start from the second point from the second notch and sew it down. I'll do the same thing to the other side and I will iron and interlock. Okay, now on the neck I will use a bias to turn it. And um after I have sewn that and notch, I mean, I've sewn that and interlocked, I will now sew on the sleeve opening, okay? Just to match it some kind of, like I'm hemming it, okay? And then I'll do the hemming for the down part of the dress sew. So I'll be repeating the same thing on this fabric, okay? I'm trying to make the camera to pick this. And because the... The fabric is soft, you know, so it's, it's shaky, it shifts easily. So I'm pinning it down 
and of course you need to pin down all the fabrics that you're cutting it doesn't necessarily need to be silk chiffon that you'll be careful about even the cotton when you're cutting it you have to be careful so just like i explained when i was doing it with the paper so i'll be repeating the same thing on this fabric okay so that's my neck that and i'll curve that to my neck width like i said i'm using five inches and from my neck width i'll slant it again to my shoulder slant remember i'm using one inch for my shoulder slant and at that point i'll keep on curving it you can use the whole of the fabric and you can choose to just make it smarter and not take the whole of it okay now this fabric is by 60 so if you don't want it too full of course you can make it smart but i need it all flowing so i'll try to use everything every part of the width of the fabric okay so that's me trying to cuff it all to the other edge of the fabric Okay, so here's our dress, the cap dress. So I used the bias to turn the neck, like I said, and I had to hem the sleeve opening using the allowance that I used to sew. I equally hemmed the down part of it using half inch, okay, after interlocking. So that's the sleeve opening. I've given it a good praise and I use bias to turn the neck that's it and our dress is ready so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe subscribe and subscribe thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video